Good morning, YouTube. It's uh, about time I thought I did a uh, vlog. Uh, I've had many of my subscribers ask me when I was going to do one, so I thought uh, I would do one. First, I'm going to start on politics. Um, there seems to be so many protests and fights and so on over our soon-to-be President Donald Trump. And you've got to remember that politicians in the past have said they were against something and then later changed their minds and they were for it. Or vice versa, they were for it at first and then changed their minds. Uh, so he's, he's uh, sort of um, toned down some of the things that he said that he was going to do. Um, now, as far as Clinton goes, I don't give a damn about the emails and all that. She was telling the truth when she first started out. There was no rule against the way she was doing it. And then later, they changed the rule. So, I don't care about that email. I could care less. The only thing I hold against her, and I'm not going to say it's all her fault, is the Benghazi thing. Now, I don't think we know the full story on it. I can't believe if those people that were killed contacted her more than once and said, we need help. Please send somebody or get somebody in here. And she didn't do it. There's got to be more to it than that. I can't believe that you would just sit back and let somebody die like that. So, and I, I'm kind of glad that the elections were over because I was getting tired of the mudslinging. Uh, I thought that was uh, derogatory. I mean, really below either one's levels. But it's happened in the past, too. My next uh, topic is national health care. Now, they're talking about uh, doing away with Obamacare and substituting it for something else. Well, uh, I hope they do. Because when Obamacare went in, some things happened that uh, was just way out of this world, and the prices were one. Give you a good example, uh, if you went online before Obamacare uh, was put in place, and you went to a um, healthcare website that, uh, you know, insurance company, you might see a, um, one of their um, plans was, say, $59 a month. That was nice. But after Obamacare went in, it went from 59 to 500 and something a month. That was outrageous. So I, I would like to see, um, I would like to see national health care, but I doubt it's ever going to happen in my lifetime. But we'll have to wait and see what uh, Donald Trump comes up with. I really, th it, it bothers me with, about all these protests and um, people going after other people over him becoming president. Um, I will say this. We should give him a chance. Could he do worse than the pre previous presidents? Anything's possible, but I don't think so. Foreign policy? Uh, the trade agreements, I, I think they should be renegotiated. Renego now, as far as immigration goes, you he has said... Uh, He's toned that down a little bit, too. I feel that if you're here, here illegally, but you're not doing anything illegally, if you're living here and you're working, uh, I don't know if you're paying taxes or not, but if you are, then you should be allowed to register and prove what you're doing. Now, those that are in jail or those that they know are doing illegal, like selling drugs or that, if they want to deport them, and I say fine. Uh, my next uh, subject is um, marijuana. Uh, I've got nothing against it really. Uh, now in my state Ohio they did pass the uh, medicinal use of marijuana. It's not in place yet. In fact the last time they did an article on it on television on the evening news they said that um, it may not be in place and ready 
for the public until 2018. I, I don't know what all they've got to go through yet, but they I, kn I know they're taking it uh, slow and point by point to get it set up. As far as the recreational use, um, if I understand it correctly, if they did put uh, pass that, which they didn't, it didn't pass here in Ohio, that the government would handle that. Now, if the government would handle it like they do the alcohol and tobacco and all that, I say okay. And allowing you to grow some at home, I think there might be a limit on it, but that'd be okay too. So that that's just my take on it. Um, in my area, the biggest problem, not only with uh, young kids and young people, but adults, is heroin. I'm sure you, most of you have heard on the news that, if you haven't, I'm surprised, that they do have a big problem around here with heroin. And um, meth, they've, they've destroyed many meth labs uh, around the area. But uh, that's all I have to say on that subject. Uh, before I end this completely, I'd like to tell you that uh, today is Elvis Presley's birthday. If he was alive today, he would be 82 years old. So, <laughs> even though it's late, happy birthday, Elvis, and rest in peace. That's it for now. Have a nice day. Later, guys.